Welcome back to Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. Show Ryan along with Marty Ryan, LT on the camera. And we are all set up for second half action. The Lady Raiders lead 40 to 9 uh, as we start the third quarter. And I'll tell you what, they've, they've dominated, Marty. Yeah, I'd say that's a good word to describe the uh, first half. I was, I was telling our halftime guest, Louie, that, you know, if we didn't uh, pull some of our starters and take off that full court press, uh, I think this game would be a lot worse than it is now. So give uh, Coach Richmond some credit there for having some class and, you know, giving these guys a chance out there. Yes, let them play. Lincoln's going to get the ball. Louie brings it up and gets it over inside of Kennedy. Well, I can tell, can see the number. Kennedy with the ball. Looking around, dumps inside to Weber, back out to Konchik, cross court to Morgan. To Kennedy, she's going to fire a three. It's not there. And we're going to have a push inside. You get Froby for that one. Oh, are there really? I think so. May I think so, yep. Yeah. Froby was pushing inside, being aggressive. Can't falter for that. Pushing on Sanders down there. So they're going to call him for that. Sanders get the bar. She's going to bring it up for the green wave. Picks up the pace a little bit. She's pretty quick. Kicks it over to the wing. Wants it back. They'll move it around a little bit. 21 up top. McDowell kicks it over to the wing. So the Greener being a little more patient. Sanders takes it to the hole off the glass. Nice look. And she's going to get two there. Good move there by Flannery Sanders. A little girl, 5'5 five, five junior. Yeah, and those pigtails go everywhere. What'd you call them? Frozen tails. Yeah. That's what we're going to call them. The frozen tails. Anna and Elsa. <laughs> Anna. Nice drive, Morgan Lolly up off the iron, no good, and there's a rebound for McDonald. Yep, Ashley McDonald, another big board there. Green Wave starting out the second half here pretty well. Sanders kicks it over to the wing there to Coffee. She's got a couple threes tonight. Oh, up. Had me another quick one on Froby there. Yeah, they're gonna say that maybe Froby tripped her. I'm sure she didn't mean to. I didn't even know she didn't know what happened. There's two quick ones on Froby here. Lincoln leads 40 to 11. 6.55 remaining in the third quarter. A long three there by 31. Coffee, no good. Gets her own rebound, takes it down low, can't get it. McDonald gets the board, she puts it back, can't get it. Coffee's going to give it another shot, can't get it to go. Froby's going to end up coming up with it, going the other way. Froby. Uh, little ticky tack foul, yeah. I'm going to call there. A lot of fouls here in the second half. Well, so much running in that first half, these officials are probably trying to slow this game down. <laughs> yeah. Try to keep up. That's why Adam Ramlow didn't want to do this game. I saw him in the first game. <laughs> Inbound, nice play. Konchik play. goes up strong, and it won't go. Great play. Konchik uh, made a move and went to the hoop, and Kennedy Log inbounded it to her perfectly. She was fouled. The layup wouldn't go, and she's going to shoot two. I want to throw a thank you out there to Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital and Sports Care out there at 200 Stallhut Drive, a great place. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have our hospital. And you got any questions, need anything, 732-2161. Konchik drops the first one. She's got a lot of points tonight. Yeah, she's doing awesome. And we're having a little officials discussion. We're going to throw a thank you out there to Lincoln Heating and Cooling, your choice for carrier. And they are a proud Lincoln Raider sponsor. When you need the best, it's got to be Lincoln Heating and Cooling, 735-5835. It's real quiet here like we're putting. Concha yeah, up. We use some cooling in here right now. It's about yeah. 200 degrees here in Roy S. Anderson. Coach Al turned the air conditioner on. 42 to 11, Lady Raiders lead. 6.35 remaining in the third quarter. Green Wave getting some ball movement down here again. Having, having tough getting anything in the paint or getting a good look there. But they're, uh, they're working on it. Sanders, nice ball movement, trying mm -hmm. to hit that baseline, but took a few too many steps. They're going to call it for the travel. Lady Raiders will get possession back. And the Raiders bring it up. This will be Froby. Froby steps up, crosses half court. The lane is open. Now it collapses to Morgan, to Kennedy. Kennedy Kochik way out front grabbing it. This is Froby. She's going to drive, cross over, wants to go to the paint. Back to Weaver sitting way out front. This is Morgan. She's trying to get around. She goes over on the side. That's bad out of bounds into the Lincoln bench. And Lincoln will... I think they'll keep, keep it. That, that went ball. off Avery Reisinger there. Good defense. She knocked out of bounds. She'll guard the inbound. And to Weaver. Gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy runs around out front. Moves. Stops for a three. No to Weaver. Or no, I'm sorry. Froby. She drives the lane. She loves to cross over out front. Weaver picks up a loose ball. Looks around. Gets it back to Froby. She drives. There's the scoop. Won't go, but she's fouled. Yep. Yeah, there's the old scoop we saw last year a lot. She gets it to work, and if it doesn't work, she's going to the foul line. So heads up play. Lincoln leads 42 to 11, 549 remaining in the third quarter. Froby at the line, her first one is up and good. 
I'd like to throw a thank you out there to State Farm agent and Lincoln High School alumni Adam Osborne for his personal assistance. Give him a call at 309-688-7070. Froby hits the second one, opening up that Lincoln lead to 44-11. to Pretty big lead here. Still trying to get some offense going for the green wave. Uh, been a lot more fouls this half there. Trying to see who they're going to get here for the Raiders. Foul Weber, I believe. Weber down low there. Mm -hmm. Coffee will inbound it here for the green wave. See if they get any movement down here. Trying to set up a pick. Try to go to Sanders up top, but uh, Kennedy Lollings there takes it. She gets possession going back to their way. Oh, yeah. 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 And Weber just smiles. She caught it, <laughs> took an extra step, and just says, yep, I sure did. Yeah, it's been a little bit. A little bit sloppier second half here so far, both nice ways. Nice steal by Lolly. Kennedy Lolly made a nice steal, got the ball back in bounds, and uh, they're going to keep it. Went off Mattoon, and uh, Lincoln's going to keep that ball. You know, you know I, I like to see players that, you know, they, they nod in agreement with an official and know that it's okay. Officials are doing their job. Right. As opposed to the, to the kids or players that, that want to argue or, or show them up, you know what I mean? Yeah, that never ends up well. I've never seen an official change a call or... <laughs> Give nope. a kid any breaks because they argue with him. So. And they're not going to see everything as much as we thought we could see everything. Yeah, right. Froby out front. She's looking around, waiting for something to happen. Looks over to Lolling. Lolling to Kennedy Lolling now out front. Kennedy drives the lane, stops the paint, and nice it roll. rolls around and falls for her. She's going to get the bucket. And ends up on the ground as <laughs> usual. <isn't it? laughs> she went down. Those Lolling girls are tough. 46 to 11, the Lady Ooh. Raiders lead. Okay, she got that one blocked right off her face there, Ashley McDonald. Good defense there, and that's Weaver. Yep, Emory Weaver with the block. And Lady Raiders set it up. Morgan's going to drive down the paint, dumps it to Konchik. She's had a hot hand. This one's off a little bit. No good. Nice board. Weaver goes back down on the dribble, off the glass, and good. 48-11, to 11, the Lady Raiders lead, 447 remaining in the third quarter. Green Wave still getting some offense. Had a good start here to the second half. They've slowed down a bit. There's a long three from the wing by Avery Reisinger. No good. Little Sanders down underneath the rim gets her own rebound. Puts it back there. That's 25. Ash McDonald got her rebound. She gets fouled with the putback. She'll go to the line here for two. Lady yep. Raiders going to sub a little bit. J Mac coming around now. He's probably going to go work out or something. <laughs> <laughs> or he's going to Bonanza, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> he was good. He said good things about you. <laughs> 433 remaining. McDonald at the line. And boy, does it get quiet. Man, yeah, that really does. Uh, McDonald hits her first free throw. She's on the board now. First point of the night. She's going to shoot one more. They're going to give some of the Lady Railers a break. Second green, free throw on the green way. Green Wave just uh, subbed everybody. But yeah. the shooter, she hits this, she's out. And she's going to come out again. So a lot of subs coming in. There's uh, Paige Arthur just checked in, the senior. Hallie Niemerg. Who else we got here? Mia Butler, another sophomore. Amari Brown, a junior. Uh, she's getting some youth in there. Getting some experience here at the varsity level. You know, playing at Lincoln's a tough place to play, too. This is Keeler out front. That was Hicks. She gets it over to Morgan. Morgan inside, they go back over to Hicks. Hicks wants to shoot that three, I think. They go down in the paint. If she didn't take it. I thought Schneider might take it to yeah. Hicks. She didn't. Keeler out front. Mm, she might have traveled, and she did. Drug that back foot. Mario a little off balance, picked up that dribble. Yeah. 4.06 remaining in the third quarter. Lincoln leads 48 to 13. Lady Railers on fire tonight. Yeah, looking real good. Great, great way to start the uh, you know the new conference here. Kind of sending a statement and message to the rest of the teams, I'm sure. They'll be checking the score of tonight's game. That's a bounce pass inside. I think the Green Wave are going to keep. They're going to keep it. Yeah. Green Wave getting a lot of younger girls in there, getting some experience tonight. So pace has slowed down a little bit. Get the ball in there to big 32. She kicks it over to 20, driving the baseline. Over to 30. Auto, no good. Weaver there at the rebound. Here comes Morgan bringing it up for the Lady Railers. Try to dump inside. Nice turn by Schneider. Wouldn't go. Gosh. Rebound. Here comes Mattoon. 48-13. They trail the Lady Raiders as we approach the three-minute mark in the third quarter. Nice bat away by Weaver. Yeah, Green Bay's moving the ball. A nice take oh. there. 
Amari Brown can't get it to go, but she got to the hole. Lieber gets the board, gets it over to Hicks. Hicks goes down to Pink Schneider. This time she's pushing Ooh. people out of the way and going yeah. to the hoop. Use that forearm to get down there, which was nice, but Ooh, nice move. Morgan out of there with good defense. I'd almost call shot. that the wrap. <laughs> she's going to wrap that around and go. Dump inside, Greenway moving the ball around. And another travel. There's been a lot of travels against the Green Wave tonight. Yeah, but again, when you got tough defense and they're in their face nonstop, I mean, it gets you, gets you a little nervous. Anxiety kicks in and start doing some things you're not supposed to. Yeah, these Lady Railers here. This is a deep ball club. They move around. This is Hicks. She's going to drive the paint. Gets it back up to Morgan. They dump inside. Schneider turns, goes to the hoop, off the glass, and good. She's tough down there. That's a, that's a big asset this year, having to grow some size down low. That, you know, take some pressure off some of our shooting guards. She's getting stronger, and her dad was a heck of a basketball player. We should, we'll get him on here at halftime and talk to him. I'm over in Mesa City. Uh, but she does a great job of keeping that ball up above her head and going mm -hmm. to the hoop, you know, not bringing it down where everybody else can swat around at it. Turnover, the ball goes out of bounds. And here come the Raiders. Sit out front, Keeler. She wants to oh, she's throw it over to her. Morgan Lolling, ball bounces around, goes out of bounds. Yeah, tipped out there by Morgan Otto. Lady Raiders will keep it. Taking it out in front of the home fans over there. Hicks to inbound. She gets it in, and this is Lolling. Moving around, way out front near the half-court line. Looking around, the Lady Raiders scramble. Hicks dumps it inside, Schneider. This must be the thing, Schneider. I'll tell you God, what. Man. And you know what? Coach Richard may have said, let's just work Schneider here in this second half and see how things go yeah and, and she's, she's good with that excellent job that left forearm blocks him and gets that spin off of it she looks pretty tough down there in the paint i saw she just block a shot there yeah. here comes keeler fast they want to run a fast break she stops now and they're going to set it up oh they try to dump back outside now they do gain control nice weaver nice fake weaver up oh won't fall schneider battles gets the rebound Jeez. off the glass and good schneider's eating him up nine points right now Lady Raiders lead 54 to 13 as we approach 130 remaining in the third quarter. There's another turnover. Here comes Hicks. She goes on up to Keeler. Keeler all by herself lays it up and in. And the Raiders lead 56 to 13. And I believe the Green Wave are now going to take a timeout with 125 remaining in the third quarter. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. All right, 30 running. All right, this is brutal. Yeah. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, huh? four, three, Welcome back here to Lady Raider basketball action here at the Apollo Conference opener. 125 here left in the third quarter. Lady Raiders lead 56 to 13 over the Mattoon Green Wave. Uh, the Green Wave here just made a huge line substitution. Brought all their starters back in here after giving them a couple minute break there. So we'll see if they got some new energy here and get some points on the board. Here we go. Ball turned over out front. No, Green Wave keep it. We almost had another steal. Get it down low there. Tough shot for Coffee, but she's going to draw the foul. Shoots some free throws. Coffee's got four points tonight for the Green Wave. Looking to add a couple more here. Push it in the back. We'll take this opportunity to throw a uh, thank you out there to the uh, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. Helping people, changing lives. America's Poverty Fighting Network. For details on everything Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois has to offer, please give them a call at 732-2159. Great place. I tell you what, if you are a teacher looking for some work or you want a bus driving position, full-time, 10 bucks an hour, 40 bucks a week with benefits, give us a call. Yep. Always hiring, and I'm going to tell you what, it's, an, it's a great program. Railer's moving the ball around now. This is Keeler. She's going to look for a three, maybe. Yep, she's going to take it. Mm -hmm. Off the iron, no good, and there's another rebound for McDonald. McDonald's been tough out there. Said they got some fresh legs on the court now for the green wave. See if they can make something happen. There's McDonald, long three. Got a piece of it there by Lady Railers. Not the poorest with a piece of it, but she's going to go to the line for two. Want to oh. throw uh, Brooke K. 
Kittner out there, 5'10 freshman. It's the first time we've seen her in the game today. Brooke Kittner. She's going to line up down that paint and see if she can get a rebound. Don't forget that uh, after tonight's game, you can tune in with Jeff number two. And he's got the classic rock experience going on. It's the best classic rock in Central Illinois. And I got to tell you what, I got to stick up for Jeff number two. I think he plays some good music. He rocks he does it play out. Good late music. Night. And she misses the first two free throws. You can also join uh, Scott Kirby, Jake Johnston on the Cheap Seat Saturday Morning Sports Show. I'm on there most of the time. Saturday mornings from 9 to 10. It's Logan County's longest running live sports show. <laughs> How you like that? <laughs> Ranked number one. Impressive. In the hours of 9 and 10. 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Keeler's going to bring it up. The Red are slowing it down. They lead 56 to 15. Horse has it out front. They're moving around. This is Keeler looking. She's looking down in that paint. Hicks coming around. Fire that three. Nope, she didn't. She drives the paint. Back outside. Keeler will take the three. Off the iron. Rebound McDonald. Long shot, McDonald padding her stats there, getting some more boards after hitting those last two free throws. See the Green Wave get another one here, about 10 seconds left here. Nice pass inside by McDonald. They go to coffee there, can't draw the foul. She got a couple looks at it, and she's pretty surprised she didn't get a call. <laughs> Looked at her coach and threw her hands up, but she's not going to get any help. Keeler's going to bomb a three from the middle bench, and it won't go. And I think her dad just sat and looked at her. I thought it was funny. <laughs> he, just, he just stared at her. <laughs> Uh, that's the end of the third quarter. We are going to take a timeout, and we'll be right back for the fourth quarter. The Lady Raiders lead 56 to 15. Welcome back, Lady Raider fans. Joe Ryan, Marty Ryan, and LT out at Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. The Lady Raiders lead 56 to 15 as we start the fourth quarter, and the Green Wave have the ball out front. They dump inside, and immediately Schneider takes it away. Gets it to Keeler. She's bringing it up to Hicks, to Porus. They look around, look around. I don't know, Kittner wow. I thought was going to go out and get that, but she didn't. Nice job there. Now pass over to Kittner. Porus, it's banged around there a little bit. Keeler has it, looks around, dumps inside, and McDonald with a nice play, knocking it away. Tell you what, Kittner's in there getting some looks as a freshman, huh? Is that the only freshman we have? Yeah. Yep. 5'10 Five Five freshman. Pretty tall. She gets some height from her dad, and she will be tall. Wow, nice shot there from McDonald. We'll turn around off the glass. She's got five now. The green wave. 56-17. This is Keeler. Goes on the side to Hicks. Hicks to Porus. Porus looks around, looks around back to Hicks. Hicks turns. She's open. Take the three. I think she's got it. Oh, oh in and out. Wouldn't go. Boy, she's had a good look and another rebound from McDonald. Yeah. Hicks has had a lot of good looks at that three. She finally took one. Didn't go down. Big three from Coffee from the corner off the rim. Not going to get it. Here comes Hicks. She gets a rebound. She's quick, too. She brings it up, and now the Raiders are going to set stuff up to Keeler. The Porsche, she moves it around, looking around. Try to go inside Schneider, and I think McDonald's going to be called for coming over the back and grabbing her. Yeah. Well, she's been tough to stop down there. Good for McDonald trying to do something. It's going to be on the floor, so the Lady Raiders will inbound under their own basket. And Keeler inbound. She looks around, gets it to Hicks. And it's batted out of bounds. It will remain Lady Raider ball. And move her around. Hicks right up with the Lincoln fans inbounds it over to Keeler. She looks around, starting to get there, staying in front of uh, Schneider, not letting her have the ball. That's Porus nope. gets a jumper Ooh. up, won't go. Rebound, McDonald. <laughs> Done a great job this, there. She's gonna have to go to McDonald's after this game. Right? <laughs> Probably pretty beat. There's a three from the top from Sanders. Good look. They'll give it to her. Been playing pretty well running the point guard for the Green Wave tonight. Yeah, she's done a good job. She looks like she's five foot tall out there. She moves those frozen Braids, tails yeah. out of the way. They're about longer than she is almost. <laughs> Porus the ball, looks around. It's it back to Hicks. Hicks out front to Keeler. She looks. Dribbling, dribbling. Now she's going to go inside. There we go. Schneider up. Won't go. Good defense. Yeah, they started double teaming Schneider down, which I can't blame. She's been eating him up. So you what? Kittner got a hold of a loose ball. Got it back out. Now they go Kittner. She looks. Won't go. Back out front, Keeler to Hicks. They go back in Schneider. 
turns. Good pass. Porce, oh, it's going to go off her out of bounds. I think that was too good of a pass there. Porce wasn't really ready for that, but that was a good look by Schneider kicking it back out after she drew the double team. Yeah, I think she probably thought she was going to get a fire one off there, and it wasn't ready. 520 remaining in the game. Lincoln leads 56 to 20. Green Wave getting some ball movement here, working around. Schne or, uh, McDonald's calling for it down low, but they're still working around up top around the perimeter. 24 will pop one. <laughs> hey, you missed that. You turned your head, and she banked that from four Did three. She? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And the banks are open. Good-looking shot. With the 24-hour banking things that we have going on now, at any time you can bank one in. So Easton there, the 5'5 uh, five five junior going for the three-point play here. See if she can get it to go up off the outside of the rim. <laughs> no, Probably could have called over the back on McDonald there, but they let that one slide. She was She's over it, though. 56-22, uh, five minutes remaining in the contest. Lady Rivers bring it up. This is Keener getting a lot of action tonight. She's moving it around. It's over to Porus. She wants to go inside Schneider, but doesn't. Comes back out front to Kittner. Looking to go to Porus in the corner. No, Kittner's action. She's motioning through. Won't go. And let's stand it back out. And Haley Hicks going to set it up and do things. A five-foot, three-inch senior. This is Keeler. Looks around. Porus. Back to Hicks. And there they go. They dump inside Schneider. She turns and goes. Off the iron. Just when I complimented her on that glass. Yeah. Got greedy there. McDonald comes down with another defensive rebound. They go to her inside. Up. She kicks it out. Thought she would have shot that. Nice take to the hole there. A little wild by Coffee. Hits the ground pretty hard, but she's going to go to the charity stripe. Shoot two. 419 remaining in the contest. Lincoln leads 56 22. And they have been on fire. Yeah, pretty good way to start the uh, season at home here and start conference play. Couldn't really ask for a better game. Got kind of hitting on all cylinders tonight. They play again Thursday, right? Where do you guys go Thursday? Taylorville. Taylorville. The old Central Tornadoes. State A opponents. It's a cool place to play. That gym all sunken down. Yeah, that's, cool kind of, that's where we finished the season last year, wasn't it? Mm hmm. They took a tough loss to Effingham, I believe. At pretty good Effingham team, but at Taylorville. Second free throw is no good. Rebound Schneider. Here come the Railers. Keeter sets it up to four. She goes inside. And you come back outside. And there's Hicks. Mm, off the iron. Wouldn't go, but she had another good look. And she just smiles about it. Yeah, she's having a good time out That's there. That's funny. Four minutes remaining in the contest. And I believe the Green Wave is going to call a timeout. I don't know what he's my motion for. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I think it was a quick timeout just to get a sub in maybe. But they just sub. We're going to keep it right here. It's Green Wave inbound, and we are back in action. Come the Green Wave. Got some young bodies in there. Haley Niemerd looking for someone to get to. Gets the outlet up top there. That's Reisinger. Over to Butler. Butler gets it back in to Niemerg, and she gets it to fall. Her first two points of the ball game. 56-24 Lady Railers. About three and a half here left to play. And the banks are open. Banks are open, especially in Mattoon. Lady Railers working it around. Keeler, she wants to drive the lane. She's going to. She gets up underneath, goes back out front. Poor, she's open for a jumper Ooh. off the iron. No good. Rebound down to the Green Wave. 320 remaining in the contest. Lady Raiders all over the Green Wave, 56 to 24. Green Wave still moving the ball around. A couple of couple lazy passes there. It'll go out of bounds. Lady Raiders will take possession back over. They look pretty worn down out there. And we're having a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 311 remaining in contest. 56-24 Lady Raiders. Uh, again, we want to throw some thank yous out there. Thanks to Joe Ryan over at Country Financial. Located in historic downtown, 735-4385. Lincoln Holiday Inn Express, located out on Lincoln's west side. Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital and Sports Care. Lincoln Heating and Cooling. Growl Chevrolet. State Farm Agent Adam Osborne. And the Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. These guys throwing a little money out there so we can uh, have these games. We've got 10 of them this year, Marty, and then, uh, and then the tournament. Three minutes remaining in the contest. 
Nice pick. Lady Rather's moving it around out front. That's inside. Ooh, I thought she was going to maybe turn, get her turn, and take her first shot. Yes. She did. They go back inside. No. Driving the paint. This is Hicks down in the corner. Morgan Lawland back in the ball game. They're moving around. Porus is open. They go inside Kittner trying to get it. She does get it. She's trapped in the corner now, batted out of bounds. It will remain Lincoln ball. 245 remaining in the contest. Coach Richmond gives them some directions. Yeah, getting a lot of good experience here for these girls. The varsity court could be a little nerve wracking at first. Absolutely. The bright lights. Everybody watching. A little nerve wracking up here trying to get this set up. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Probably cooler down there on the court, too. They're probably sweating less than we are. It is hot. There's a turnover. And the green wave. They're going to sub four young ladies in. Hold on. Or maybe not. They're, they're calling them. One they call them all back. Oh, they did call a foul. Now they're bringing them in. There they come. There we go. Didn't realize they called a foul. You got to hold them up and then send them in. 56 24, 233 remaining. Inbound here, Mari Brown is going to bring it up court for uh, Mattoon. Little bit of trouble, gets it over there to 30. Ooh, nice job by Keeler, bats Adam that down. Gets back it. Oh, knocked away there, another steal for the uh, Lady Raiders. Morgan comes up with it. I was going to say, Morgan <laughs> wasn't sure she could dribble or not. No. And then she did, and they said, no, you can't. Yeah, I think uh, her teammates kind of took off on her. I she saw her, she was asking, she wasn't sure if she could. Uh, but... Not going to matter in this game. No. No, I don't think Coach will get on her too much about that. Hicks with the steal, and she's going to bring it up the court. Crosses half court. Being pressured out front. Nice crossover. Moving it around. Keeler, they go down inside. And this is lolling. Morgan goes up off the glass and won't go. The rebound Greenway. Under it's two minutes. Just under two minutes here. Green Wave trying to get some points here before they leave Lincoln, get it back on the bus. Maybe get that 30 mark. Still working the ball around up top. Nothing yet. Ref's counting. She gets rid of it in time. Go down low to the big girl. It's Paige Arthur off the glass. No good. Tough board there by Brown, but she gets it ripped away. White ball. Good battle for the ball. She's aggressive. Yeah. Yep. Tough, uh, tough Lady Railer team. Have been for the last couple of years. 130 remaining in the contest. Lincoln leads 56 24, and this is Keeler. Crosses half court. Looks around. This is Porus. Back to Hicks. Keeler takes it even further out. Lady Railer is happy to run some time off of this. So are we. It's hot up here. Yep. <laughs> no water. LT didn't bring any drinks for the group. Yep. She's in charge of drinks. She brought nothing. Jim Drew did rescue us. I, you thought he'd had a water pack on him. <laughs> Came flying in here like Superman. Under a minute. Lady Raiders trying to work that clock. Let's run it down and get out of here. That's ball's tied up. Horse is tied up over there. They're going to call a foul on the Greenway. It's Kaya Easton. They're going to get her for the foul. That will stop the clock. 51 seconds. Stop the clock. Lady Rose to inbound. Hicks gets uh, gets everybody moving around and throws it in to Keeler. 45 seconds remaining in the game. Keeler backs it out. Comes over to Porce. Kittner wants it inside. Doesn't get it. Lady Rose just moving it around outside. Get it to some of those ball handlers that want to dribble around. Keeler an excellent ball handler. So is Hicks. Mattoon's not giving up, still playing tough nope, D here. They're all over him, and there's a stud. Knock that one out of bounds. Good defense. Mattoon hasn't given up. Morganano's still sticking it in there. Lady Railers will keep it. 27 here left. 56 24 Lady Railers. The inbound. This is Keeler. She looks around. Now she wants to drive. Sit back outside. Now she needs help. Oh, and she threw it away, and there's the steal. Amari Brown, coast to coast, gets it to go. Takes it and lays it up. Nice play. Tell you what, she's, she's on the board. Aggressive. Yeah. 56-26. We're under 10 seconds. The Lady Railers by 30. And they've played an excellent ball game, and here gets this Green Wave team. They hit it on all cylinders tonight, and that's going to do it. So in the first 
a Powell Conference Lady Raider basketball game at home. The Raiders are going to take it 56 to 26, win by 30. We're going to send it back to the studio uh, for a few minutes, and we're going to see if we can't get Coach Richmond up here to uh, say a few words. Uh, Marty Ryan, Joe Ryan, we'll be right back. Coach Richmond did a good job letting a lot of the younger kids play tonight. And uh, the final will be being 56-26, uh, so a 30-point victory. I think it could have been a lot more lopsided if they wanted it to be, but a uh, great way to start the uh, season here at home. Yeah, as I say, Lincoln jumped out all over my I, – I think Lincoln had 20 points before the Green Wave even scored. Yeah. And Coach Richmond, you know, in great regular fashion, you know, pulled some of those starters, moved everybody around, let everybody play, and uh, just made sure that we had the game under control before she did. And uh, I thought they hit on all cylinders, you know, as far as defense, rebounding, moved the ball well. Yeah, ball. offense was pretty pretty spread out. I mean, I don't think anybody ran away in the uh, scoring column. It was pretty spread out. And got points from, you know, the three-point line. We got points in the paint. So, uh, I mean, a pretty well-rounded effort. It's a great way to start the season. And a lot of depth, like you talked about during the game. I mean, they, I think just about every came off the bench, even early. I mean, before it started getting ugly, they were doing a lot of rotating, which is uh, – it's a good sign when you got a deep bench like that. Yeah, I'll say they've they're eight, nine, ten girls deep, and, and a couple of those younger girls, you know, uh, Schneider inside is going to control, you know, a lot of that the paint and the putbacks, get some defensive boards, and uh, we have yeah, five girls out there that can handle the basketball, move, go, you know, that's uh, that's shoot. what's going to help your team move the ball around, can shoot the three. Konchek yeah. stepping out tonight, yeah, hitting some big threes, and then going down the paint. And, yeah, Making layups. She, she had an awesome game uh, using that left forearm there to get around people and move and hook and spin. And, uh, yeah, they looked, they looked real tough tonight. Um, you know, I think they may have a little bit, you know, tougher contest Thursday night when they go to Taylorville. Um, just, you know, a little bit more of a rivalry there than Mattoon. But, uh, hey, a win's a win, and it was a, it was a good one tonight. Well, Lincoln's going to move to 4-1 and one on the season, and I believe the green wave will drop to 2-4. and four. Yep. And, uh we are uh, going to apologize. I don't think we're going to get Coach on there tonight. She hasn't came back out of the locker room. And, uh, ooh, something fell. And uh, so I think that's going to be it for us. Um, again, the Lady Raiders win big tonight, 56 to 26. And uh, looked good. Hit all cylinders tonight. For Joe Ryan, Marty Ryan, and LT running the camera, thanks for joining us tonight. And we'll be back with you uh, Thursday night from Taylorville. Thanks for listening. Lincoln Lady Raider Basketball on 96.3 WLCN and it's streaming live at WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Grau Incorporated, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, Joe Ryan Country Financial, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, the Lincoln Holiday Inn Express, and by State Farm Agent Adam Osborne. Thank <laughs> you.